I am offering you a way out. A chance to escape. You're asking me to betray him, and you know I can't do that. Lucas is a murderer. Just one squeeze, and I'm gone forever, huh? I'm gonna have his baby. I called her Sarah. We've been approached by someone who says she can get close to the target. How close? Close enough to finish the job. Where are they getting their information? That's what I want to know, sir. Have you thought about Sarah? This could be a new beginning for her too, Francis. What do they know about me? That you died in an accident. When I finish, no one will recognize you, not even yourself. Slipped them a grand, created a diversion, and told them to enjoy themselves. Hired assassins. Hired by whom? That's the question. He has a lot of enemies. <laughs> One thing's for sure, he's too important to lose now. Might be time to think the unthinkable. Selling, I'm not interested. Told you before, I don't want it. Not selling, Mr. Pilgrim. Buying. Do you know what a 42 entitlement is? It's a charter for snitches and grasses. I prefer to think of it as a get out of jail free card, courtesy of the Home Secretary. Piss off. We have to look to the future now, Mr. Pilgrim. Your empire is diminished, your authority is undermined. Well, if I'm doing so badly, why are you so keen to get my signature on that? Because it's not you we're interested in anymore. It's your business associates. I don't have any business associates. She gave you everything, remember? But there's always more. I agree to this. I want something in return. We have to look at the big picture. I promised her that Lucas would be in prison for life, not just a couple of years. See, she only gave up her child because I guaranteed her safety. In that case, I suggest the less she knows, the better. Do we have confirmation? Unfortunately not, Mr. Lambert. He's still alive, and he's cut a deal. What? How certain are you? I'm positive. Yes? 
Is that Jessica? A Trent? Yeah, yeah, it is. Listen, there's something I think you should know. L Lucas is being released from prison. And he wants to see Sarah. I didn't want you to hear it from someone else. up, Terry. <laughs> Lambert's been spreading rumours. He says that you did a deal with them. You believe that? No way. Not in a million years. Deal with this. Lambert's. He's been spending an awful lot of time here. giving her up. That was an integral part of the agreement we had. You said a good family. You gave me your word. It was a lie, the whole thing. It was just a charade. No, it was difficult. It didn't work out with the first family we chose. 
Francis, they were good people. They just couldn't handle the constant surveillance. We didn't have a choice. No, I don't believe that. We were just trying to keep her safe. We did what was best for Sarah, for Sarah. Yeah, you don't know the whole situation. I gave up everything to put him away. He is her father. Now, he is a murderer. I remember a time not so long ago where you didn't feel like that. I won't let you play games with her life. OK, what do you suggest? We have a custody battle. Francis, you are dead, remember? Until we contact you. Trent. She has rights, sir. We promised her. You have any idea how damaging this is? Or just how much this little stunt of yours is going to cost we us? We can't just ignore this. What's that supposed to mean? We have to play this by the rules. So you're either with us or against us. And what's it to be? Okay, sir. How will you kill him? You don't need to know. We can't afford any mistakes. Paul. I got you a ticket back to Stockholm. It leaves in a couple of hours. What? You don't have to worry about Sarah. She's gonna be fine. I wanna see her. There really isn't time. Trent! I'm not going anywhere. Get in. Please. said you wanted to see your daughter. Come on. Take a seat. Oh. 
Yes, she is. Why didn't you get in touch and tell me what had happened to her? I didn't want you to worry. It just took a while to place her. And the family she's with now? You couldn't wish for a better home, Francis. <laughs> We've got a grass in the shop, and it's not an ordinary informant. It's someone with access to specific details, Francis. Someone who wants to make a little extra cash. So why am I still alive? Because apart from me, there's only three other people who know your true identity, and I can vouch for every single one of them. But that doesn't make it any less dangerous for you. Don't tell me how dangerous it is. I already lived that life, remember? Well, then you know it's only a matter of time before they find you, which is why you have to leave. And tonight, if possible. Why are you suddenly acting like someone who gives a damn? I do give a damn. Then tell me where she is. I can't do that. Trent, she's my daughter. I abandoned her once. I'm not doing it again. Where are you going? I don't need you. I'll find my own way back. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Hello? It's Francis. I need to talk to you face to face. Okay. I'll wait for you. Where? The cafe on Manson Street. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming. Strictly speaking, I shouldn't be here. I just needed to talk to someone. I know I gave Sarah away, but... I can't stop caring for her. I can't just turn that off. I know. I understand. <sighs> Before I could have anything I wanted, all I had to do was ask. Now I only want one thing. But it's too late. You need to understand, Francis, it was for the best, really. Maybe it was when he was going to spend the rest of his life behind bars. But now he's out. He wants to play father. Listen to me. Nothing is going to happen to her, I promise you. <sighs> You'll be there when they meet? Uh -huh. He even looks at her in the wrong way. It'll be the last thing he ever does. Thank you. Thank you.
Good morning. He's been expecting you. He'll only be a moment. Okay. tried to kill me? Yes, of course. Any news? Well, nothing at the moment, but uh, it's only a matter of time. My instinct is that it was someone on the inside. By the way, thank you for Natalie. She's going to turn out to be a fantastic housekeeper. My pleasure. Would you like to join us? I'd love to. I hope my instincts are wrong. Because, as you know, loyalty is the one thing that we live or die by. <clears throat> Did you really think you'd give a better of me? Where did you meet her? I've already told you, a coffee shop in town. And who suggested it? You or her? Oh, what is this? Just tell me. She did. She didn't want to talk. She just wanted to find out as much as she could from you. No, it wasn't like that. Really? I bet she is sitting outside right now. Trent!
Hello. I've got something for you. Coming up here. Oops, a daisy. Me. What are you doing here? Why would I be so stupid? She's your daughter, Lucas. You'd do anything. She's my daughter, yes. I'd do anything to protect her, to keep her safe. But I wouldn't hurt her. OK. You did this. We know you did. And how did the kidnappers know? What are you talking about? Who told them she'd be there? Hmm? Maybe instead of pointing the finger at me, you should have a look at yourselves. Thank you, Mr. Pilgrim, and that will be all. Pleasure. I'm sorry, Francis. Too late for sorry, Trent. That bastard has my daughter. We don't know that. You mean you don't know that? I had two people, Trent, two people in my life that I really cared about. My sister and my daughter. Just two. And Lucas has killed one, now he has the other, and... Do what? What are you going to do? I'm going to do what your lot seem incapable of doing. I'm going to get my daughter back. What, just walk up to him and ask him where she is? If Lucas has got Sarah, he's not going to give her up without a fight. Then I'll have to think of a different way. How? Oh, no, you don't. No, I've seen... I can't let you do that. What other options do I have? We did this to you in order to protect you in case you walked past him in the street, not so you could get back into his life. I'm different now. Things are different, Trent. I don't even recognise myself anymore. You are still Francis. And if I see that, so will he. I've been dead for two years. Nobody remembers Francis West anymore. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Pilgrim. I thought it would be a good idea to have a review meeting. The names you've given me are a good start. But I expected much more from you under our arrangement. Understand me. Trust me, I'm doing everything I can. When I've got more, you'll get more. Good. This had better be good, Francis. I just wanted to prove my point. Which is? Are you a man of habit, Trent? I'm not, no, not especially. Yeah, well, Terry Birch is. So? So? Watch closely. What are you pl
Hi. I'm sorry, but um, I seem to have lost my ticket. I wonder if I could try and look for my coat. Yeah, sure. sure. Thank you. Good morning, Sal. Teddy, I have your coat right here. Excuse me. Are you sure that coat's yours? Definitely. Cheers, Sal. Um, I think you're wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, but I could swear it was mine. This is a bloke's coat. So it is. Sorry. My mistake. It's a nice coat, though. Where'd you get it from? Who wants to know? Just a girl stupid enough to lose her ticket. But you can call me Jessica. Well, Jessica, I have to be somewhere. But another time, maybe? Sorry. I don't do another time. Hey, Teddy! Excuse me! Excuse me! I forgot your purse. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Look, um, why don't we start this whole conversation again? What did you have in mind? A drink. You mean like a date? Why well, give it a name? As long as you have a good time. I always have a good time. Good. What about Tuesday? Why not? Fine. I'll pick you up at, say, eight. It's OK. You give me the address and I'll meet you there. I can't believe you're even considering this. And what do you suggest? You need to get out of here, Francis. Run away. If they find out who you are, they will kill you. Like I don't know that. You go there, Lucas is bound to show. Oh, but you knew that too, didn't you? I can do this. I can because I have to. Well, Fountain's not going to go for it. So you're on your own. I always have been. Have you got the phone we gave you? If you need my help at any time, you dial hash zero six and that will activate it. Thank you.
So you can. How can I resist such chivalry? You look wonderful. Everybody, let me introduce you. This is Jessica. Right. Nice to meet you. Hi. Second down, round four. So what do you think? I take it you're a regular. Been once or twice. some fresh air. Uh, no thanks, I think I'll stay here. Fine. Come on, mineral water, no ice. You don't look like a man who denies himself the pleasures of life. I don't. Thought not. So, what are your particular pleasures? Peace and quiet of a busy room. Yours? Company of strangers. took care of me. I've always looked for that in a man. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. What about you? What are you looking for? Yeah, you ask a lot of questions, Jessica. People who go looking for trouble, they usually find it. Excuse me for a minute. Thanks. You're gonna leave without even saying goodbye? Sorry, but I think tonight maybe was a mistake. Oh, that's a shame. I'd like to see you again. You'll think that's a good idea. I'm still thinking about it. Well, at least give me a number.
Nasty. Who is she? I don't know. And what has this got to do with us? I think the other one's Lambert. But the body's so badly mutilated, it's impossible to tell. I knew this would happen. If you let him out, sir. I did warn you. Hiya. Hiya, trouble. See what I've got for you in here. There we go. She been okay? Yeah. You gonna come up here? I'm not sure how you want me to respond to that. Why do you have to make everything so hard? Is that me, Francis? Or is that you? What should I do? I think you've already decided. You think I'd do this if there was any other way? I don't have a choice, Trent. Why can't you see that? I have to get involved. Don't get dragged back in, Francis. You escaped once, but you can't afford to get trapped by Lucas again. And I can't afford to lose my daughter either. I would have taken you for the gold digging type. I'm not. Then why are you here? Because from what I hear, Lucas is a man you don't turn down. You have a flight? Hi. Should we go through? Is everything to your satisfaction? Everything's perfect. Have you always lived here? No. Not always. What do you think? I think for someone who says he doesn't have a lot of money, you certainly know how to spend it. Are you enjoying yourself? Could get used to this. Dance with me. I've done some bad things in the past, but uh, I'm trying to mend my ways. There wasn't a thing left to say. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. Ow!
say that. No, it's my job to protect Mr. Pilgrim. And I will do that if I catch you snooping again. I don't think Mr. Pilgrim is the sort of person who would like you laying even a finger on me. So we should just call it quits. Shouldn't we tell? Who are you? Um, I got lost and Terry decided to get protective. I'm sorry, I, uh, I need to go. No, stay. No, I should go. Is she OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry about Terry. He just gets a little bit carried away sometimes. I need to go. Sure about her. You're not too sure about anybody, Terry. That's why I pay you. No, seriously. Find out everything you can about her. Right. And find out she's nothing to do with Francis. Who is she? She's come into the shop a couple of times. She's, um, she's got clearance. There was a big fuss when she turned up, but, um, there's nothing on the computer about who she is. She might as well be invisible. Is she anything to do with Francis West? Why? I don't think so. I can check. If I find anything out, then I'm... Well, I'll let you know. Good. Haven't you forgotten something? spent time and money getting Francis away from Lucas and you've risked blowing it all. I mean, can't you see how dangerous this could be? What about Francis finding the Polaroids of Sarah? Oh, you really believe her? What do you mean? You don't think it's a little too convenient? No, no, I don't. Especially if he wanted her to find them there. Right. All right, just for a moment, just a moment. Let's say that Lucas has Sarah. Now, if we go charging in now, we'll never find her. Yes. Why wasn't I told? 
Don't you realize he's under surveillance? No. They've confirmed Lambert as one of the bodies. Our friends are going to raid Lucas's house. We got to get there first. I've been expecting you. Let's start down here. Yes. Upstairs, please. So. Make sure you check the lines. In the front room, I'm going to take the office. Murder wasn't part of the bargain. If I find proof you've either been involved in Sarah's disappearance or Lambert's death, I'm gonna throw you right back into prison. Sir, I think you should have a look at this. Sweet, no? Can I have a word? Excuse me. These were all taken at the shop. You sure? I'm beyond sure. Written in stone, she works for them. Then she'll die for them. you to personally handle the forensics on Lucas's house. I want to know everything that's gone on in that place. Sure. What's worrying you? Something's wrong. See, uh, I'm certain that Lucas knew we were coming, but there's only a handful of us who knew about the raid, sir. Shut the door. Uh, haven't you worked it out yet? Sir. It's Reese. Well, it took me a while. Too long, perhaps. But we both know a mole is only a problem if you don't know what information he's feeding on. Reese, in his own way. He served us quite well. How long have you known? Oh, long enough. What about Francis? It's not my fault she came back. How do you live with yourself? I do what I need to do, Trent. It's my job. It's what I'm paid to do.
Listen, it's Reese. We've done a DNA on everybody in the house, and then um, you're not going to believe this, but someone's come up who's related to young Sarah. It has to be her mother. <laughs> it's got to be Francis. What is it? They've mashed the DNA sample. I don't think you're going to believe this. Try me. That woman? It's Francis. Yeah. Is he certain? I am so sorry Is about he it. certain, Terry? Yes, Mr. Pilgrim. Where's Reese? Does anybody know where Reese is? No? Belton. Hi. A trend sent me. He wants you to come straight away. Thinks that they found Sarah. What? Where? By the river. Why didn't he call? He's gone on ahead. He, he told me to collect you. Right. Um, I'll just get my stuff. promised to protect her, and now you've just delivered her to him. She refused to play by the rules. She gave up everything for us! She became a liability. If he even touches her, you're gonna pay. Promise. Heads up. I need an ID on this number. No. Yes, sir. Can, please. Yes, sir. There, got her. Heading towards the marshes. We need to get there. No. Take me to where she is. Hello, Francis. Just like old times, eh? He's waiting for you. We'll be in touch. trouble just for me? Lucas. Don't. Let's not spoil things with any more lies. I want my daughter back. Where is she? Your daughter. I've got lots of plans for that little girl, Frances. She's gonna make her daddy very proud one day. What happens when she finds out her daddy's turned informer? 
that he betrayed everyone he could just to save his own skin? Or were you not planning on telling her that part? What are you talking about? You didn't know. <laughs> are you really that stupid? You're the traitor. No! Wait, Tessa, wait. No! Okay, no! Terry. no! Terry, no! Terry, no! Kill you. Terry, no! No! You can do about it. No, the Terry, most thing Terry, Terry Vance, don't! I'm gonna no. kill her! She's betrayed everything that we have stood for! Terry Vance, don't! <laughs> Sorry. Gonna happen now. Think I'm just gonna go away because you pull that trigger? Do you think you can kill me? What about Sarah? And what about our daughter? We could start again. We could be a family, we could move abroad, just like I promised. Coming to him. Your statement alleges she shot Pilgrim in self defense. My report will confirm that. I think that's the least you could do. Probably for you too. 